All right, folks, welcome back to another episode of Big South Ranching. Today, we got my buddy Brandon here with me. He's uh, loaded his old uh, pony up. We're going to get ready to pay the bank. We got to get a few of these old cows, some cold cows. I say cold, they're not real bad. If you're at the sale barn Monday, uh, they're good cattle. I'd pay top dollar for them. But we're going to get some of the ones I just don't really like too much. Probably three of them. We're going to... Uh, one of them actually aborted. Is the reason why. No fault to her own. Pay good money for her now. She's good. So anyway. We're going to get her. Uh, one other that had a hard time through the winter last, last winter. Through that ice storm and everything. And then I got another one that's kind of got a bad uh hip shoulder something foot it's not really a foot but anyway she's she been like that for a little while so we're gonna probably get those three and uh get them loaded up take them to sell barn he always takes his time oh, oh, right there. there you go cattle here are not any of the ones we want so we're gonna push these out and we will uh, go into the 40 acre pasture which they're about to go into and we'll sort out the two head of cattle that we want which is 29 and 38 and uh, I think we're just gonna go with two of them Oh, that's always bad. Some balked on the back side, which is never good. Might have to put the phone down, but anyway, stay tuned. Brandon's up there, hazing out direction, doing good. The rest of them are out there. Stay tuned. Hey! Push them in the wrong way, boy. We apologize for the cuss. We're going to try and bleep that kind of stuff out. But if you don't want to cuss, you just assume not even buy cattle because it just, A, will rub you the wrong way. Or dogs. We're keeping these cattle. These, they're just so flighty. They just won't sit still. So we're just doing a little training on them right now. I'm on haze over here to just stop. Oh, I'm not trying to pin them like this. I just want them held in the back to kind of teach them to relax a little bit. Like if they quit moving, we will quit moving. So that's kind of what we're doing right now. They're they won't give us um uh, they won't let us get it close enough i can't even read the ear tags i i got a good idea on which one, which one are the two uh but i can't confirm it but that's what we're gonna do right now we're just gonna give them a little time let them calm down and quit acting a fool but anyway we got them to settle down they around this pond they are uh, nursing a little bit there's some kind of behind the trees. There's some behind the pond down. They're all right there, calm, cool, collective. And we just kind of showing them that they ain't going to be there in the walk just because there's horses out here. 
We might back up and punt. I've got AG across the road. He's got a bad hip. He's a yearling, probably 800 pounds. And I might could pin up one of the other bigger heifers that uh, would bring just as much money to these uh, good cow or open cows. I don't know, we may, what are we looking like on time, Brandon? It's uh, five o'clock. Five o'clock, okay. Wool off. What do you think about uh, just going to pin a yarling or two up? I'd be a lot easier than these old flighty cows, I think. I bet you I could probably uh, just go to the feed troughs and call and get them caught out of the pickup. Yeah. I might do that. Well, I've had a change of plans, but this is Daddy's colt. What are you doing with his mouth right there? <laughs> hey, Jake. Way well, he kind of does that, that's a sign of submission so to speak he don't he don't want rooster to back so that's what he's doing right there but we're gonna back up and go get a yardling or two called up brandon's gonna uh, he got a collar today i believe but we're gonna go catch a yardling we couldn't catch the cow the cows i say we couldn't catch them they just flighty i mean I, they from texas you gotta forgive me anyway i'm calling my calves up i've been feeding them pretty regular i ain't got feed they're gonna be pissed but i got one or two in here i'll i'll be willing to sell if they'll come in here Woo! come on that's what i call them that's how i call them and they learn you can call them anyway but if i can find a big heifer like okay, there's a big gray heifer over there at the cell barn. I bring good money a heifer with. Now I got another one, AG. He's a lead steer. There he is. He's in here. I got him. He's got a little gimp. He's gonna be slaughter prices. Might get three or four hundred dollars for him. He's no good to me anyway, but he'll pay interest on the bank loan. So uh, I see a good heifer there, and I see AG. What I want? I'm gonna swing past him in my truck. And close the gate on them. Woo! Come on! This might get a little exciting. All right, AG's this one right here. That big one. He's lost his ear tag. He's the biggest one out of the group. He did have a, a tag, AG in him. Oh. The heifer right next to him, that gray one to his right, 28. She might be a good candidate to go to sell barn too. She'd bring good money. All right, we made it. Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, hey, back up. Back up. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's the one I want right there. Back up. Get back, AG. All right, AG's one I need. I may use this gate as a cut gate and let by 90% of them. We'll back up and give them a little space. Let them go. Bye, bye. Nope, AG, you're the one I need. You're the one I need, boy. I should have had that gate open. <sighs> this is gonna be a little more trickier than I thought. got the camera back now jake's probably gonna be more trouble than he's worth with this little hole between that gate and this thing here we're gonna sort the ones we do not want back behind us and they should drift through that little hole back in with these others 
these cattle here are the ones that the desired ones and i'm just trying to get down to a more manageable number my catch pins are damaged and i hate to put 30 head of cattle in there and they bust out because i need to do some repairs on them i'm just going to take it slow jake you need to get in the go load up go you're going to be in the way load up load up go Good boy. Right, Come on. Bye. Bye. 28, that big heifer. Easy. Oh, oh. These two, that's the gray. Back up, that's the one I want. AG, now red can go by, blacky can go by, go by, by, by. This is a pretty reasonable number. I think I can do better though. 37, get by. Nope, nope. All right. Bye. Bye, 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 no. All right, easy gray. I think I'm gonna go with that. Jake, load up. I told you to get on that. That works good. We, we're gonna push these out. We're gonna push these out and uh, go with what we got. All right, we got the two sorted out that I wanted. I want to take the heifer because she'll bring more at a sale barn at this size. There'd liable to be somebody to buy her for reproduction. I don't want her, but she would be good for it. So she ought to bring good money. Now the other one, he's he's fouled out. He's good for hamburger meat. So he's gonna probably go for slaughter, but we're gonna go get the trailer real quick, back up here, get him loaded and head to the sale barn. sale barn we appreciate everybody watching uh if y'all haven't already uh hit that subscribe button hit that bell so you get notified if you like western uh ranching lifestyle type stuff this is the channel for you uh, we're here in south mississippi i'm weston mitchell again appreciate everybody watching appreciate the support we'll see y'all on the next episode of big south ranch